Hi, all. This reading is for May the 21st, 2019. I feel like some truth is going to be coming to light tomorrow. As we are starting with the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and I am recording on the 20th, actually, the evening before. I apologize again to those of you who noticed that I've fallen off with the, I fell off with the lunar pools there for a few days, but we're getting back to them. I'm so sorry about all of the uninvited noise, loves. Um, I'm just going to lay the cards though. So there's a little bit of annoyance in the background, but uh, we'll just, we'll just lay these, these cards. We're doing what's covering you, what's crossing you, your recent past, your near future, the root of the situation, and the outcome of the situation. Then we're going to get a couple of advice cards, as we always do for the Lunar Pools, and look at the bottom of the deck as well for an overall energy. Five of Swords, Five of Air, crossed with the Nine of Spears, which is the Nine of Fire. Let me just get our music in the right place too, not that we'll probably be able to hear it, but maybe. So like I said, I feel like truth is coming to light or perspectives are being shifted. Um, the emperor in the root of the situation. But there's also a, tomorrow some sort of a mental battle. It may be a verbal battle with someone external to you, or it may be a mental battle happening in your own mind. Um, now I say yours. These messages are for the collective, for any and every sign. Of course, that doesn't mean that they can resonate with everyone every day. I know that they can't. Um, so if some lunar pools don't resonate, others may, right? But, they, but the messages could be for someone of, of any sign. Uh, and we do all have every uh, zodiac energy in our chart somewhere, whether or not we are particularly familiar with our astrological makeup. You've got the world in your recent past, some sort of completion, uh, some type of graduating to the next level of being or graduating in some way, shape, or form in some sense is leading to this mental battle, possibly again verbal battle. For a lot of you, I'm sensing, though, that it is a mental battle internal within yourselves tomorrow uh, on May 21st, 2019. So I think what happens is that you learn a truth or you begin to enjoy a truth from a new perspective, one or the other, and it's just it's difficult to wield it. You feel like you need some help uh, to decide. Uh, what to do with this truth. You're having a mental battle internally about whether or not you should share the truth or how you should share that truth or with whom you should share it, just what you should do with it in general. And you you, you feel like you need some help um, to make that decision. But it, it's feeling like the, the reason that the internal mental battle is ensuing is because it's simply your choice to make. And so the kind of help you need and any kind of help that you may be receiving is actually from the divine, from some one, something, an energy beyond the veil that you can't actually see coming, that you wouldn't expect coming. And, and so maybe, you know, go ahead and jump to right, right to asking your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, your whomever it is, whatever it is that anchors you beyond the veil, source itself, Gaia herself, uh, or, or whatever um, anchors you for that help. Because in the near future, I see you with the Page of Swords being a messenger of truth, being someone who does deliver that truth to someone else, who takes that battle outside of your mind and, and takes that truth. And though it's difficult to wield, and though your message that you share with someone uh, with that truth may be immature and clumsy and even seemingly disrespectful from their point of view because you just don't know how to deliver it, you're going to. That's, that's what I see happening. And ultimately, you've got the Queen of Swords in the final outcome of the situation for May 21st. Or the, I'm sorry, the Queen of Spears, which is actually the Queen of Fire in this deck. Um, five of Fire and Seven of Cups reversed are the uh, advice cards regarding the situation. 
And then the five of water, the five of cups or chalices, cups in this Game of Thrones tarot deck on the bottom of the deck. Now, um, very quickly, I'll say that all the information about the Game of Thrones tarot and any of the tarot decks that I use on Lunatics Tarot readings, you can find down below in this description. That's also where you can find information on private readings. If uh, you like the way I read, if certain parts of this or any lunar pool uh, or any reading of mine has resonated and you'd like a private reading, if that's just the place you're in right now, scroll down. You can find your options, your links, my email address, lunaticstarot at gmail.com. But I will... Um, talk a lot more about this, a little more at least, about this message with you guys. Um, just let me uh, let me flip the cards around so you can see them with me while I pull some clarifiers on this situation. Okay, so what I see the potential pitfalls here being for May 21st is when you have a hold of this truth, that like I said, it looks like in the near future you are going to deliver to someone. You are going to carry, to wield, to deliver, uh, probably as a message of sorts of truth as a messenger of truth, right? Um, even if you're clumsy about it, even if you're not sure how to. What I see the pitfalls being uh, to getting to that place in the near future, um, this was actually reversed, is that you may be, well, you're confused about your options, what you can do with this truth, what you can do with this perspective. Again, like we talked about who you can share it with, but also maybe some of you are overindulging in escapism, drugs, television, sugar, fantasies, anything that is an escape, right? Even things that are great for us need to be had in moderation. Um, this practice, this read, this practice, and so this reading is going to speak from a place of knowing that balance is what we're trying to achieve. We can never totally, completely be still and maintain balance all the time. That's lifeless, right? But we are always in a state of trying to achieve it. So some of you uh, may be indulging in something, even something that isn't bad for you, but just overindulging and using it as a means to escape. Or it may be one of those cliche examples. Um, normally with escapism, it is, um, it is normally drugs, alcohol, which alcohol is a drug, drugs, um, fantasy like television or, or some sort of food like sugar that gives you those the things that give you those dopamine bursts without you actually having to make any progress in yourself or in your life, right? It's just a, a, an easy dopamine burst. Um, some of you may be overindulging in mourning. Some of you may be skipping a mourning period. Again, this is about balance. So it's not good if you're mourning too long. It's not good if you decided to skip mourning at all. We can't do either. We're humans. We gotta go through the mourning process. It's going to start to invade and encroach on our life and our happiness and other things that are mean just as much to us if we stay in a state of mourning too long. That's also something you can overindulge in. This is also a message not to leave behind more than you actually lost. Even upright, the five of chalices, uh, water carries that message for me. Um, now, I will also say, oh, well, one more thing that might be a pitfall uh, to keep you from sharing this truth or learning how to, to the best of your ability for some of you, um, or learning the best, the best thing for you to do with that truth for some of you. Um, another potential pitfall could be um, indulging in petty fights and ego drama with people around you. Maybe people who you shouldn't have asked what their opinion was and they have a lot to say about it. Maybe people you didn't ask what, what their opinion was on the situation and they have a lot to share. Um, and just because you would like to, again, escape and avoid the great change that this sharing this truth is going to create in your life, you may just decide to waste some time indulging in these petty exchanges, these petty fights, these um, the, this petty ego drama with people. And it may not seem or feel petty because sometimes this type of fighting has to do with a difference in beliefs, beliefs that were instilled in us when we were very young at an age where we were malleable and our brains were soaking up things like sponges and that became ingrained in us as part of who we are and part of what we think and part of who we, how we live our lives. And so even people that really care and love, uh, care about each other and love each other very much can, can come to an impasse in life where one or both of them just simply isn't ready to change their beliefs or entertain the fact that the, a belief that's very different from theirs on a certain subject matter may be perfectly fine for someone else to carry because it's all about perspective and it takes all kinds to get everything done in this world, right? 
Um, so the message, there's slightly different messages coming through there for everybody. It'll be slightly different. It is ego drama. Regardless, I'm sorry, but it's petty ego drama, even if it's about deeply held beliefs, because that's just your ego that says your belief has to be the same as mine. It's just your ego that's saying it's not okay for other people to hold different ones, right? Um, and 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 as I and something I always say once I get to this advice part, it seems like no judgment. Like we all fall uh, victim to that sometimes too mourning too long, indulging in escapism, indulging in petty fights to avoid a big decision that we have to make. And you've got three fives on the table for May 21st. Um, the five of chalices, the five of swords, the five of uh, rods. Of course, it's spears and cups here, but fire, water, and air, all, the fi all those three fives are out. So it's a time of significant change that is probably a, a major struggle. And it's because someone has decided to take control of their life, to lead their life, to be the boss, maybe in a business, maybe just in your home, maybe just in your own life, to be their the own, own authority. Or because possibly since this is the divine masculine and the father figure, possibly because a father figure or divine masculine figure has come into your life recently, and started calling some shots or influencing some. In any case, in the recent past, this divine masculine energy, whether it was within yourself taking control and power or someone else you invited into to your, your home life situation, um, could be work situation even, this can be a boss, maybe a boss who's calling shots in a way you don't like. In any case, this energy, this divine masculine fatherly authority figure energy has led you to a place where you the world is yours. You know you can manifest whatever you want to, and you know how to. You don't just have the tools that you need like the magician does. You're at all the way at the end of the major arcana at the world. That's where the world is yours. That's what's recently happened. That's why this truth has illuminated itself to you. That's why the multiverse or someone close to you, you know, has... has has shared this truth with you why, or why this truth has, you know, come to light for you because you're in this place of being able to manifest whatever you want. And apparently what you wanted was some truth and now you have it and it's just difficult to decide what to do with it. Like I said, you're wielding it in the near future. You're absolutely wielding it. You're delivering this message. You are sharing it. It just may be shared in a way that's a little immature. It might be the fact that you've got a new idea for something, you know, um, cause that's what that ace of swords that we saw on the bottom of the deck can be a new truth a new idea, a new perspective, it all sort of uh, boils down to a new truth for me, but it can just be a new idea, but it's still, it's, it's something you want to share, a, a message of truth that you want to share, a perspective you want to share with someone or someone's, and it's going to be, it's going to stick in your mouth, it's going to be immature the way you deliver it, you're not sure how, but these are the things that you could be escaping into this morning, this escapism of any kind, these petty fights, to avoid, like I said, figuring out what you should do with that truth or or more specifically for some how you should be uh, delivering it maybe you can learn how to deliver it better uh, maybe that's part of why you're 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 trying to some of you avoid doing so because it means first taking the step of learning how to deliver the truth and then going about the work of failing at it anyway because you've never done it before so it's going to come out immature the other person or people may even think you're being disrespectful when you just meant to share a truth and a perspective right it could have very much to do with this ego drama um it might be a truth you know if you've decided to run your own life be the boss in some way and you see now that you can manifest whatever you want it may be a truth that you've learned about yourself uh, what you want your spirituality to look like, what your new religion is going to be, uh, what you believe you yourself are. Maybe you've labeled yourself in some type of spiritual manner. I am a pantheist now. I am a witch now. I am a pagan now. And of course, you know, I'm choosing examples that all sound friendly to me, but whatever it is for you, I'm not a Christian anymore. I want to study Ju Judaism or I'm done studying it, whatever, 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 you know, these are examples off the top of my head, but maybe it's a spiritual truth you've realized about yourself that it's, you really want to share with loved ones, family, friends, a partner, somebody, 
and you're that's what you're debating over is like they're going to feel insulted they're going to feel estranged from me they're not going to understand they're going to argue with me and tell me i'm going to hell or blah 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 that doesn't mean that it's not your truth and it doesn't mean it's not your right to share it and i'm not trying to demean it at all but it's something that a lot of us face right um and there may be a debate at first about whether or not you need to share this truth and of course that's your decision um, I know I can leave this in your capable hands moving forward, but before I do, I'll tell you that the final outcome of this situation, and I ha for most of you, I feel like this is a matter of weeks away, um, but it could be days, it could be months, but this is the final outcome of this situation whenever we get here, is the Queen of Wands. So if with this truth, you are uh, attempting to uh, attract a fiery feminine to you, um, who feels passionately about you, who you feel passionately about, someone who is influential and bold and beautiful, uh, social, very commanding, um, not demanding, but just commands energy naturally because she's so magnetic, right? If you're trying to attract that type of feminine energy towards you, it looks like in the outcome of the situation, this situation does just that. Um, but for a lot of you, the, the case is that this is the energy you're going to embody, whether you identify as male, female, masculine, feminine. Um, she is all those qualities I just listed, uh, very influential. She speaks well with people and nature, and, and, it, and it tends to listen to her because these, these fire signs, this queen and king of fire both, uh, are very close to spirit, are very close to nature and spirit. And that's why they're so influential over people. people we are nature. We are spirits. So when we are very close with, with, with nature and people and, and, and or with nature and spirit, people gravitate towards you and, and and a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times just naturally flow with what you're saying and what you're suggesting and, and just where your energy wants to go because it's magnetic, people will want to follow and please. Um, and it has that, none of that has anything to do with trying to manipulate people, right? That is not what any of that has to do with. It sounds dangerously similar, but it, but when somebody is magnetic and, uh, and people are pulled to their ideas, etc., they just are. Now that's not me promising you that whomever you share a new spiritual truth of yours with, you're going to just naturally manifest them sharing it with you. Not necessarily, no. Um, if that's what's right for both of you, then I have, you know, I so hope that that's what, how it goes. But, but it's more so you being able to ultimately, not necessarily at first in the near future, but ultimately being able to express why sharing this truth was so important to you, means so much to you. If it is a spiritual way, belief, way of being, etc., that you're trying to share, um, you will ultimately be able to get them to see why that's your truth even if it's not theirs, why, why it means so much to you, or at least to respect the fact, right, that it means so much to you and that it is your truth. So that's what I see for May 21st. The last thing I want to say is, if you stuck with me and if this reading resonated, um, if you normally resonate with the lunar pools, and I can't do them every day, um, I'd love to commit to that. I'm getting to that point, but um, I, I, I normally can't do them every day. Um, but if you normally resonate with the lunar pools I do post, or more specifically, it, it, simply if you resonated with the message from May 20th, I have to say I feel and both see and feel a connection here with that reading because I just did May 20th, and now I'm just going ahead and recording May 21st a little early, I guess. Um, although this is just more the timeline I just like to be on, but... Um, if you resonated with that one, the <laughs> the outcome of May 20th's message was the Empress. And now the root of the situation for May 21st is the Emperor. For some of you, that's not connected at all. But for some of you, it is in a way that I can see and I can feel, but I can't quite understand. I'm sure that if I wanted, if I had the time and I sat down and watched them both back to back, I'd see the connection, but maybe I just wanted to point that out for some of you. If you normally resonate with them, but you haven't watched May 20th yet, if you resonate with this one, maybe go back and watch May 20th. Um, 
or if you just normally resonate with that, maybe go back and watch May 20th, because I, I see this, I see that connection here with it ending with the mother in the last one and beginning with the father in this one, and I feel it, or I wouldn't say anything. And we're a little over the time that I'm shooting for, but I also feel called to expand in any way we can with an extra piece of wisdom from the dreams of Gaia Tarot. That extra piece of wisdom is the three of water <laughs> and the mother card on the bottom of the deck. Now this, this beautiful tarot deck uh, cannot be exactly likened to a tarot deck. It's easier for me to liken it to an oracle deck, but it is called the dreams of Gaia Tarot. However, it is not the same as a tarot deck. Uh, it has more major arcanas than a tarot deck. Um, it has 81 cards because of the extra major arcanas. And if you flip through this gorgeous, insightful, amazing guidebook that you're provided with in Dreams of Gaia Tarot, uh, when you get the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, you'll see that a lot of the descriptions differ as well. So it, it, it is hard to liken the cards exactly to a tarot deck, right? But as I'm giving you that message about the father and the root of the situation being connected to the fact that the mother's in the outcome in, in May 20th's message, then the mother's on the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I'm not going to go through and read um, the, the mother card as well, because it'll take long enough to look at the three of cups that came out. But I, I, again, just it just emphasizes, me, it, to me, it emphasizes that you should um, definitely check in with yesterday's reading as well. <clears throat> if this one resonates, if you if you feel and see that connection too, I guess. Quickly, let me look at the three of water for us. Six of water, five of water, four of water, three of water. Free yourself of unrealistic expectations on May 21st, 2019. Allow the outcome to manifest freely. Okay. She's positive, this character, hopeful. Um, turns to greet the future with anticipation and excitement. Be proud of what you have accomplished. Do a victory dance. It is important to allow yourself these moments of joy and celebration and to remember them. So that's a lovely addition, even just from my understanding. It may resonate even more deeply with some of you who are in this situation, um, but that's a beautiful addition just from my perspective, uh, that regardless of the, this ego drama, uh, the sadness you feel that maybe somebody doesn't know who you are and it's hard for you to, to, to share your truth with them, or even that you had to lose people to get to this point or, or prior to this point. Um, the struggle that's happening for this change to occur to your life, in your life, these mental battles, these verbal battles, maybe, um, this, this longing for some outside help, even from the divine that you can't see, right? Through all that and in trying to share your truth, let us not forget that the reason that this brilliant truth is here to be shared is because you've truly accomplished something. You've learned something about who you are and what you want your life to look like. And it's, it's so true. It's so real that now there's a struggle of, shoot, I got to figure out how to share this with the people who care about me. Yeah, that can be a struggle. And you can engage in this with the struggle portion of it, or you can do a victory dance and hold a celebration for yourself in spite of anyone else's opinion. Because you you've really found a piece of yourself here. You know what you want part of what you want your path to look like, where you want it to go. And that, my dears, deserves some celebration. So when when people when and if people do come at you with how can you say this? How can you believe this? How can you tell me this? Uh, this is what's going to happen to you now because you think this or because you're saying this. Just smile at them and start doing your victory dance. Honestly, show them the joy that's in your heart because you know this is who you are. If that's, you know, if that's how that truth re resonates with you. I hope that the needed insight that this reading had to offer was able to reach you. Um, and if today's lunar pool didn't resonate with you, I do hope you'll check back and see if another lunar pool resonates with you. I told you about the private readings uh, already. Um, as always, thank you all for all of your support. As always, I hope you make wise choices for yourselves moving forward. Don't feel boxed in or determined by anything you see here in this snapshot of the path that you're on now. Um, obviously, free will and other things can edit that. 
I love you all and I will post another lunar pool for you very soon as well as finishing the mid-month readings. I got to a couple of them, Virgo and Aquas, yours are out as well. Again, Taurus, Libra, and Aries, you got the full month of May readings, you got two. Um, but yeah, there are still uh, seven of you to go and I plan to attack those ASAP. So check back for those as well and I'll have a lunar, another lunar pull up for you very soon.